Sam Raimi wants to make a Batman film? Other breaking news. Water. Wet. Oh, hi. It's the best geek news. Hello, hello. Here we are, back together again. This feels so... Good. In a recent interview with Empire Magazine, Sam Raimi revealed that he loves Batman. Who doesn't? And that if an opportunity to direct a Batman film ever came up, he'd come running. As far as other characters he'd like to explore, he said Shadow would come next, followed by Spider-Man, and finally, Doctor Strange. For place, right? But since it looks like Batman is gonna be Matt Reeves' baby for the foreseeable future, you're just gonna have to learn to live with Sam Raimi's almost Batman film, Dark Man. I'm learning to live with a lot of things. Today, Disney dropped the first poster and teaser trailer for Ms. Marvel, but still no trailer for Thor Love and Thunder? That, 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 that's a good question. But we'll take what we can get, right? And I was 100% not expecting Ms. Marvel to look like it has the potential to be really good. Now, is it actually going to be good, or was I just blinded by the lights? I see what you did there. Now, a few Easter eggs you may or may not have noticed in the Ms. Marvel trailer. Fans have speculated that the red-haired girl with the glowing horns could be a lockdown, one of Kamala's most persistent villains who should probably find a new name post 2020. You are a f villain! However, that's actually Zoe Zimmer, a classmate of Kamala's from the comics. The shirtless guy whose shirt she's standing on is Cameron, and in the comics, he's actually an inhuman who kidnaps Miss Marvel. Red Dagger shows up for about two seconds. Also, now that Disney changed Kamala's powers, it looks like she's got some form of the Kree Negabands, which would also help set up her Secret Wars arc. Good thinking. As for the poster, a lovely homage to Miss Marvel number five, by the way, is that a comet or a certain captain? That, 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 that's a good question. Miss Marvel also isn't the only trailer we got today, as Universal has dropped the first trailer for Puss in Boots, The Last wish. And it's basically about how Puss in Boots has used up eight of his nine cat lives, so now he has to choose what he wants to do with his last life. So I'm really not sure why they call this the last wish and not the last life, but you know, whatever. You bet your bottom it won't keep me from watching another Shrek spinoff. Bet my bottom. Harley Quinn showrunner Patrick Schumacher revealed at South by Southwest that a Kite Man spinoff is in development for HBO Max. The series is currently titled Noonan's and would center around Kite Man after he buys Noonan's bar, which if you don't know is an iconic hangout spot for the criminal underworld in Gotham City. Once again, this would be a perfect vehicle for Condiment King to appear, but oh yeah, you let Ivy's plant eat him in one cameo. You ruined it. Hey, hope you enjoyed the show. Find me on Twitter at Chris Killian or Instagram at CK Comedy. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up for support and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our other videos.